Hi guys, welcome back. First thing first, if I look really weird, please ignore me because I'm doing another challenge for another video that I'm doing that I'll link down here. Alright, so today we're going to do a 20 minutes full body high intensity workout. So this workout will be slightly more challenging than the ones that are posted. There will be 30 exercises in total. We're going to work for 30 seconds and rest for 10 seconds. And then you can repeat as many times as you want. Let's go! Alright, let's start with a really simple warm-up, jumping jacks. Next, we're gonna do some reverse lunges, then bring your knees up while you stand back up. Moving on to the other side, try to stack back more and make sure your front leg is going straight down instead of forward. Now we're going to sit on the mat with both knees bent in front of you then slowly lean back as you extend your legs out then crunch your knees into your chest working your core Great! Let's move on to some wide grip push-ups. Make sure your hands are more than shoulder width apart. Keep your core tight then slowly lower your upper body down and push back up using your arms, chest and back. Back to some crunches, lie flat down with both knees bent and hands behind your ears. As you crunch up, lift your feet off the floor and touch both knees with your elbows. Let's come to the back of the mat squatting down and from here we're gonna walk out to the front of the mat reaching as far as you can while keeping your core tight. I don't have much space but you can do this. Now 
Nice! Let's move on to some hip dips. Come into a forearm plank and make sure your body is in one straight line. Slowly dip your hips to the right and left while engaging your core. Let's stand up again with some high knees. Place your hands in front of you and bring your knees up to reach your palms, alternating between both sides. Moving on to your curtsy lunges, place your feet about shoulder width apart then slowly step your left leg diagonally backwards and push through your right quads to step back again. Try to get your quads about parallel to the floor. Moving on to your right side, remember to push through your left quads and glutes and sit low. Let's do some one leg deadlift starting on your right. Place your feet about shoulder width apart, then slowly lift your left foot off the ground. While keeping your hips square, hinge forward and feel the stretch in your hamstrings, then slowly come back up, pushing through your right hamstring and glutes. Moving on to the left side, you can place your hands on your hips to make sure that your hips are square. Remember to drive through your left hamstring and glutes. Crab toe touches. We're gonna sit on the mat with our knees bent and hips off the floor. Slowly lift your right hand to touch your toes, then change and repeat on the other side. Next, we're gonna stand back up and come into a reverse lunge. As you bring your foot forward, kick it as high as you can. Thank you.
Nice! Now the same thing on your right side. Try to step back more and kick as high as you can when you step forward. Awesome, we're halfway there. Let's come back into a push-up position but bring your hands in closer to each other, almost forming a triangle with both thumbs and index fingers. Keep your core tight and do a narrow grip push-up. Let's lie flat on the mat again with both hands behind your ears. Slowly lift your shoulders off the mat and bring your left elbow to touch your right knee, then change while keeping your core tight. Good job guys, let's move on to some dips. Stay seated on the mat with your knees bent and hips off the floor. Slowly bend your elbows then push back up using your triceps. Back to your lunges. With your left leg forward, we are going to pause at the bottom for the next 30 seconds. Try to sit as slow as you can and feel the burn in your quads. Let's go! Let's keep pushing on to the right side now. Try to sit lower. Now, let's come into a side plank on your left. Keep your hips up, then slowly reach your right hand under your upper body, twist and repeat. Now let's do the same thing on your right side, working those obliques.
Let's move on to some supermans. Lie flat on your belly with your hands behind your head, then slowly lift your upper body off the floor, squeezing your back at the top of the movement. Stay lying on your belly with your knees bent and feet together while resting your head on your forearms. Squeeze your glutes and slowly lift your quads off the floor, engaging your glutes throughout the whole movement. Alright, we're almost done guys, keep going. Let's come into a down dog position. If you have tight hamstrings like me, you can keep your knees bent. Slowly dip your shoulders down to the mat and push back up using your arms. Come into a tabletop position and make sure your shoulders are stacked directly above your wrist. Lift and bend your left leg off the floor, then pulse at the top of the rep for the next 30 seconds. Great job, let's move on to the right side now. Make sure you're not arching your lower back and push from your glutes. Alright guys, just two more exercises left. Come into a forearm plank and slowly shift your hips backwards as high as you can. Come forward into a plank again, then repeat, keeping your core engaged at all times. The last and final one, what better way to end this than with burpees? We're gonna jump up, jump back, do a push up then repeat. The last 30 seconds, give it your all. Good job guys, let's wipe off our sweat, catch your breath then we'll do a short cool down. Thank you.
Let's sit on the mat with your left knee bent and right leg extended. Slowly you reach your hands forward to touch your toes to stretch out your hamstrings. Now let's move on to the left side. Slowly lie on the mat and hug your right knee into your chest, then drop your knee to the left while looking to the right. Now hug your left knee into your chest and repeat. Place your left foot onto your right thigh and hug your right knee in, stretching the left side of your glutes. Now change to the other side. Let's sit on the mat and bring your hands to your shoulders, then rotate them forward. Now slowly rotate them backwards. Bring your right hand to the side, then stretch out the left side of your body. Now let's repeat on the other side. Well done guys, that was the end of the workout. Hope you guys had a good sweat. Let me know what other workouts you guys want me to do in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!